Hello. 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 And welcome to the Rag Company Podcast. I'm Dane Hennon. To my right, Levi Gates. Hey, buddy, I'm back. Nice. And across from me, Anthony Fisher. Hey, hey. And to my left, last but not least, Morgan McMurray. Oh, hello. Nice. That's all of us. Welcome to the Rag Company Podcast. We just got back from a little bit of an adventure. It was going to be a trip, but then it turned into so much more. So much uh, more. So much more. We're really glad we're here to tell you guys about it because right. we didn't know if we were going to make it. I'm really excited, first off, to be able to talk about Mobile Tech Expo and um, how wonderful that trip right. was that we got to go on together. It was super fun. I mean, Anthony, having you there at Mobile Tech was Really Truly, except for the part where it wasn't, but that's uh, besides Dane, the point. Dane, having you at Mobile Tech Expo was great. You were able to run around, get lots of footage Man. of uh, all the it's great like things. I barely remember being Mobile there. Tech. Um, oh, right, because was awesome. I, I wasn't I Well, wasn't there. you were there in spirit. And, Mor- and Morgan, again, in spirit, people yeah. were always asking, how, where's everybody at? <clears> but yep. point is, I did Mobile Tech, and yes. you guys didn't. And but you had you had like the biz crew. With we you. did the you business crew. Were... We made some money. We paid for that trip, and then uh, no, we didn't. We just we we had a great turnout. It was a yeah. great show, great event. If you didn't make it, do so next year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mobile Tech is seriously one of the best networking events you could possibly go to An for experience. detailing, and it's yeah. growing every year. And it's growing every year, and detailing was probably a good fifty percent of it this year, which was yeah. probably the most spectacular thing in the last four years. So, uh, with that, I came home for two days. <laughs> And then I slept, and then I got back up on Wednesday morning. Joined us. And the four of us flew to Georgia. Anthony, oh take boy. it. Hey, guys. Anthony with the Rag Company here, talking about the Georgia trip, also known as the G-Technic Serum Summit of 2020. Yes. Now, this trip is what separates the men from the boys, the women from the girls, and then there's some mi- middle gray area there. Okay, that um, was... Uh, yeah, oh, well, okay. way to go. So, sorry, anyway. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> I don't think that that was that bad. Well, <laughs> now it is. <laughs> and now it's bad. You guys should have said... You guys should have said what went That's with what it. happens when we just let you run with things. Okay. Oh, man. So, <laughs> but anyway. we flew out Who Wednesday... Who gave him a mic? Who gave So, him Wednesday mic? morning, we got up early. We did. It was nice. Yeah. I got up, 4.45, meet, met you guys at the airport. Mm. You two were already there in line. Yeah. yeah. That was great. Did uh, each of you get a ride over? Did Liz pick you up, shuttle uh, everybody? Yeah, so I, I drove uh, Liz and myself over to Anthony's house. We got Anthony. What did we get you, like, around 4... 420, time, actually. Yeah. 420, go figure, yeah. huh? Great Whoa. timing. Well, it was great uh, timing. Yeah, we then we got to the stickers. airport, Stay and uh, then Morgan came in, followed by Levi, and we well, just got together. I was together. in before Morgan. You were. So yeah. did, did you guys just, like, say forget about me, basically, and go get in line? Because I No, we got in line knowing that you would be there shortly. Pretty much what I knew, what I perfectly. thought was, is that we were all going to rendezvous there right in the beginning. Which we did. Yeah. And when I got there at 5, um... Everyone was already ditching me and what? was nope. already because nope. nope. if That's I would have if I would have been maybe thirty seconds late, you guys would have been gone. Oh yeah, and we I would have had been, to wait. You would have had to go through myself. line again as well. So basically, I was just hmm. wondering why they got in line without well, me. Well, see, what well. you don't know is that I I have the potential to see the future sometimes, okay. Morgan. And what was <laughs> able in my mind was I saw yeah the Brandon Mobile drive by. Okay. Oh, and I was like, uh, she's pulling up. Let's get in line. Perfect. And then. We hopped in line, waited, waited, waited. Yeah. People checking their bags, mm. all that stuff, mm-hmm. waiting for you. You walk in the door. I said, perfect timing. Look at this. Yep. Just as we had walked up to the gate, to the thing, to check our bags, Anthony proceeded. I went, Dane mm-hmm. went, and then you hopped right in there. I did, yeah. It was perfect timing. Yeah. So all right, well, if made you it do, through security, <laughs> got ourselves yeah. some delicious uh, bagels in the morning, Yep. hopped on that wonderful flight from Boise to Salt Lake. Mm. Yes. And that uh, was we backed, uh, we backed out, yeah, and then parked for forty five minutes. We did on the tarmac on the in tarmac the snow. while they plowed the rest yeah. of the runway and then de-iced our plane. We then yeah. took off, which made us late. Yes, so we landed it in did. Salt Lake. We pretty much took off when we were supposed to be landing. And yeah, in that Salt was a good time. Lake. So yeah. that was basically the start of this trip. Um, so let's just remember <laughs> so that. we so we landed in Salt. This is where it gets crazy. We landed in Salt Lake. When we landed, we had. 20 minutes to get to our gate. We asked if there was going to be time. They mm-hmm. said, yes, yep. go. They said, run. Run. We so, so we ran. We, ran. we made it to the gate in within four minutes. We ran for four minutes. Got there. Gate doors closed. No one there. No one there. Yep. And no Pla- one at plane, any of the plane other. Was still there. Yeah. Plane was still there. Nobody was at the gate. The door was shut. And there was nobody at any of the other Delta gates. Mm-hmm. 
that could help us out. There was just a Levi gate standing there. Yeah, yeah one myself, Levi gate. Trying to figure out what we could do. Uh, banged on the door a couple times. Finally, the attendant came up and said, sorry, guys, that plane's gone. We're all like, no, it's still sitting there. We're, we're yeah, looking at it. There's now it. like 12 people off of our Boise flight that need to get on that right, plane. Right, because it wasn't just us. No, no, we weren't the only ones. There was ones. a lot of people who were delayed from Yeah, that. all yeah. of us very upset because we were yeah. still 15 minutes to when the plane was going to take off. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, Delta has changed their policy to uh, they 15 minutes prior to takeoff, they close that door. So they you cannot get on. Strongly none of us, encourage you to none be of us there knew half that. an hour yeah, before we were it even probably starts. Probably thirty yeah. seconds from being there. So we got redirected to Raleigh, North Carolina. Yep. We got delayed for about an hour. Got some food, yep. then uh, flew to Raleigh. This added an extra flight to what would otherwise have only been it was a direct two flight flights. originally. Yeah. So we flew Correct. Raleigh. All of us lined yeah. up, middle row, sweethearts. <laughs> yeah. So we one, all one, one. got the enjoyment. We all of got to sit behind each other, which is <laughs> yep, fun. Yep. All I in the middle. Back your head, and, yeah. That's yeah. It. Not fun because again, they kind of gave us they, and then uh, we got to Raleigh. Our flight was delayed for another hour and a half. Our yes. connecting flight. You know yeah. what though? On that flight, I just want to say I watched the movie Parasite. Great. One movie. best picture of the year. And last I was night. so excited Won when I Oscar. saw it do well last night, and that that is like a record. It, I don't think any best other foreign director, language film has won best, best picture play, before. Best, best picture and something, and then all this. It took, yeah. a, took no. them all the major awards. Super awesome. Great so movie. Deserves. You all guys watch that. We uh, then we got our flight. We got our seats together because they kind of scattered us around yeah. on this last flight. We sit down on our flight. We're in the back of the bus. Yeah. Yep. What did the flight attendant say, Anthony? <laughs> well, right before takeoff, we are way back there. Well, mm. basically. That wasn't even the. I was actually the pilot. The pilot jumped came on there yeah. and says, "Hey guys, uh, just letting everybody know that we're going to we'll be a uh, pilot. We'll do it like a pilot." Looks. Um, <clears throat> hold on, let me see this. <clears throat> uh, well, you want me to do crap? It? I don't know. It was like something. He goes like this. He goes, uh, "Attention, passengers. Uh, so yeah. those of you sitting in the very back of the plane, uh, I want to welcome you and uh, let you know that uh, we are going to be experiencing a lot of uh, weather, weather, which equates into turbulence, and we enter into the Atlanta area. And uh, for those of you sitting in the front of the plane, it's not going to be so bad. Yeah. Uh, but those of you sitting in the back, it is going to be very bumpy. And I want to apologize <laughs> before we take off. Um, also, because of the weather, we are going to cancel the uh, drink, drink service. Uh, and snack service that uh, we will be providing is yeah. uh, we because of how much turbulence we're going to look hit. on his face when he heard. Oh, back thank you so much. Uh, thank you for flying for Delta. Oh. Yeah, I just started laughing because <laughs> like, that's our I, luck. Every I time just started. Something happens. I, I laughed uncontrollably and looked it's at true. Anthony yep. because that Yum. is the worst case scenario for not only do we not get snacks, but we get to get a bumpy ride. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. plane takes off. Very bumpy. Very. It was a very bumpy ride. He wasn't kidding. It sucked. So much movement. We <laughs> landed. We had to circle the airport for thirty minutes. Yeah, holding pattern yeah. for a while. We landed, and when we landed, what time was it, Anthony? Do you remember? Oh no, I don't. We were know, supposed to know. arrive at seven. So yeah. originally, our plan yeah. was to arrive at three thirty. <laughs> then it got delayed to seven. Then it got delayed till. 8.15. We landed yeah. at 8.15. Now, we're also on the back of the plane, which took us another 15 minutes to forty to half an hour to get yeah, off the plane. Waiting on everybody else to go first. So, we had to pick up our bags. Our bags had arrived three hours earlier, or five hours earlier than us. Yeah. So, we had to go knock on the door and yep. get some weight for our bags. Couldn't find our bag tags. Luckily, we found them on our app, so we were able to get our bags. Yep. But that took another 30 minutes waiting to get our bags. Correct, right? yeah. Then we had to take the, the train to the rental car facility to get the rental car. We got in the rental car. It was 9.30 or so, 9 o'clock, yeah. and it was a 45-minute drive to our hotel. Luckily, we had a grand caravan. Yeah, it was, that was very nice. We're burgundy <laughs> red. <laughs> yeah. All that room just to throw our stuff and yeah, not have to be cramped in yeah. here. So that was nice. <laughs> and everybody's uh, conversation so we got to our great, dies got down. to our great Best Western. Yeah. We enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. Had ourselves a, a nice, comfy bed. Uh, we went and had some lunch or dinner though, because we hadn't yes. eaten. Yeah. Had so we went yes. to the Miller's uh, Ale House. Yeah, yep. fine yeah. chain of restaurants. Fun but, server. Uh, we that enjoyed. guy was funny. Server was great. Had a great uh, food, but it was torrential downpour. Oh, raining yeah. so much. Thankfully, Anthony and I did have our Columbia 
uh, Rag Company Collab Solution Package yes. rain jackets on, yeah. uh, which helped protect us. But Anthony wasn't wearing his that first night, mm. um, so he did get wet. But learned his lesson. Yeah, we woke up the morning with a massive tornado warning uh, and flash flood warning. Flash flood warning. Yes. Headed to breakfast, then went to Walmart, picked up some essential supplies for the trip, which again, very loud, very rainy thunderstorms, it, crazy noises, uh, yeah. then headed to our G-Technic accreditation training held with our friends Buff Guys uh, Detail, which was a yeah. great shop. Neat little oh, setup. Yeah. Two shops either side. Mm-hmm. You guys had a great time talking with Evan. Nice yeah. guy. Dane really found like some that lights that he liked there. Yeah, he yeah. has uh, cool lights. We uh, did that. Spent about two hours there hanging out, saying hello to everybody. A uh, fan of the program, Joe Wetzel. We got to say hi to him. Hey, hey, Spent Joe. Spent some time with Joe uh, there, uh, as well as the rest of the gang. Then uh, we made our way over to an oxy shop, Red's Detail Company, yes. Uh, yes. in Marietta, and spent ba- basically the rest of the afternoon hanging out with Red and w- with uh, Oxy like and Woo. one or two-ish. Yeah, yeah, spent just the day just enjoying ourselves, hanging out. Uh, we cleaned up the car and then put some stuff on the windshield because the rain was so bad and the rental car sucked so bad with that. So we were able to take care of that and then headed up to the racetrack. Yeah. Once we made it to the Atlanta Motor Sports Park, we were a little early, so we thought, let's grab some lunch. Yeah. Had lunch. Where did we eat, Anthony? So we ended up eating lunch at a, a little uh, a dine-in restaurant, um, if you want to call it that. or it's some, an old school some, diner. Some called yeah. a, a burger place of some sort. Um, now, the name off the top of my head, I cannot remember. I know it. Okay. <laughs> Dawsonville you, Pool Room. Yeah. Yes. There were many people who insisted we go there. The great G. Davis was <clears> one of them. <throat> Correct. Recommended yeah. it. We went in. He said, get the bully burger. You boys, Dane, you got a bully burger. Yep. Anthony got a double bully burger. What was the experience like? Uh, great, um, great, but, 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 but still, you know, it's something to where taking a bite into that thing, it, you know, it was a, I would say it surpassed Sonic. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but it was still not quite. But it was the right burger for the time that we needed to eat. Yes. I would have pretty much eaten my own hand at that <laughs> okay. point. Well, I was trying um, to give but them it a was, good way, way to give high praise. They were good well, fries. It was we, good. We did get recommendations from mm-hmm. Aaron. Yep. He said, hey, yep. there's a couple great barbecue places around here. Obviously, that sounds great. You know, yeah. down in the south, let's get some delicious, juicy barbecue, right? Yep. But we st- we stuck around for a little too long, so we kind of had to make a decision. We, we had, had to get to, up north. Yeah. We had, had to get, to get up north before the traffic, so we said, hey, we'll eat when we get up there. Well. It's a very small town. Mm-hmm. Um, having, I am pretty sure those, um, all of the burger ingredients were purchased from the local grocery store. Um, not fresh. No, they were well, fresh. It, they were <laughs> fresh, fresh from the grocery store. But that was a that was a bun that you just buy from the yeah. from the grocery. It was store. a Kroger so bun or an Eddie's yeah. bun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So basically, it was food. You know. Yeah, but it was surprisingly that. good for where we were. Yeah. I I thought it was going to be a little rougher than that, but it was cool. Place had a lot of memorabilia, a lot of old history, yeah. NASCAR racing. I was a fan of uh, the beer battered fries. They uh, did a good job with you those. Like those. Uh, I also just good. thought <clears throat> those were regular fries. I'm not really yeah, sure. Yeah, those had, had a very regular taste. You had regular fries. I had beer battered. I had beer battered fries. actually, Dane, what? is what I ordered. I yeah. just looked different. Nope, mine were and beer battered. Morgan and I got regular fries. You guys got beer battered. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess he did. So, anyway, we hmm. finished lunch, headed to the. Uh, Racetrack, yeah. unloaded our stuff, yeah. set up our booth. Correct. Everybody was showing up, hanging out. We were able to shoot a live video. Uh, you guys can go back on our page and watch that. Uh, we did a live Q&A that, that evening from uh, this after the setup. Uh, after that, we headed to our favorite bar, Spirits Tavern in Dahlonega. Yes. Mm-hmm. Great place. Anthony, what did you eat there? You had yourself a burger there as well. <laughs> yeah, so basically what I've learned from that experience is that there is too many burgers that you can have in one day. And, it's not a perfect food um, food source. It is not a perfect food source. So what I ended up ordering was, um, it was a, more of like a home-style burger. Uh, it actually had a, an egg on it, a fried egg, some hash brown. Well, a little breakfast, uh, actually. Almost like a breakfast burger, mm-hmm. correct, with a little bit of bacon on it. Um, where I went wrong was really not so much on the burger, but it was on the spiked lemonade style drink that I had Uh, Um, and the combination of that with the fried macaroni bites (laughs) as well as it was a uh, some type of Kind of a, a, a trough, a trash it's can. It's called a trash can. A, it a literally trough was of, like a of food. It was tater tots and 
ground beef and cheese and, and like vegetables. a tortilla wrap. And a tortilla. Needless to say, I didn't feel great eating what I <laughs> ate. And so it was one of those things where I just really could not wait to digest yeah. that You're, food yeah, properly. You to, yeah, you wanted to let some time to settle. And Morgan wonder, got a chili. Yeah. I did Delicious. because here's the deal, guys. As most of you, many of you might know, a couple weeks ago um, I have basically been eating gluten-free, right? Yep. Well, that's hard when you're in places where they maybe don't even know what gluten is <laughs> um, or how to spell it. Or Now, you're not doing it to be trendy. This isn't no. something where you're like, oh, I read it I'm in a not. magazine. Would I be I doing go it if I didn't have to? No, I no, wouldn't. please don't. I don't know what those are or who they're from. <laughs> don't know if I want you to open those. I think it's butter. <laughs> Looks like Cuba it's butter. Just, it's just Cuba So butter. I think that this was a gift from a listener. Uh, a fan of the podcast. We don't know. We don't have. These are from SEMA. I unloaded a bag from SEMA. Oh, these were. Oh yeah. 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 Dane, yeah. Like six months so then, old. Dane, yeah. these have been sitting um, from our friend, a fellow grand ambassador. <laughs> okay. uh, I think Prestige. I'm yeah. detailing. Oh, that's Northwest. right. Yeah. yeah Shout out. Brought us to the Indian deliciousness. Was it India? Where was he? No, he oh, literally okay. said he's like, yeah, I was in India. I got you guys a bunch of, of Indian food for the podcast. Indian treats. Yeah. We never got to them because they were in Dane's bag this entire <laughs> oh, time. Oh, that's right. Dane so took that's them home. why they're here. Dane, you didn't open so that thanks, bag. Dane, I holding, unpacked stuff. They were in one of the out. pockets. Sean got these for us. <sighs> yeah. And so okay, well. Dane deprived us. So hopefully it's still good. Oh, it's gonna be. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> oh. So this one's called Kaju Katu. Oh no! no what is so it? This is. It doesn't smell right. Dare you probably because it. it's been sitting in Dane's backpack. Yeah, for the it's probably last got fumes months. from Dane's house. S- smell that. It's probably what festered. The, it probably doesn't. What are you set guys for that long. on about? Anyway, okay. so uh, so we had had dinner at Spirits. Great he, time. That bar like is a, a really restroom. cool kind of haunted style bar. I had a neat macaroni and cheeseburger that was very delicious. Uh, Morgan got some delicious chili. Yes, because oh, there was rotten. there was it no does. really options, then, uh, so I ate chili. Okay. Yeah, but Morgan, you got you got to have the chili. It was good. We uh, then we headed to our cabins. Mm-hmm. Took Morgan and Dane around, showed them their rooms. So Dane got a, a room on the bottom floor. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Morgan got a pick, uh, Pinterest worthy. I did. Uh, yeah. uh, classic uh, country. <clears throat> B and B kind of thing. Yeah, it was very uh, classy. room, very nice, yeah. beautiful room. So Morgan had a great room. Dane had a great room. Anthony and I said, "Let's go show you guys the cabins." So because you were excited, because last very year excited. you had very very cool cabins. Very excited, and uh, I uh, we walk up. And I knock on the. I, I notice that my um, I have a code that is unique to the room. Yeah, so instead of having they have keys, te- they've texted they have us. keypads. They sent all of us a text that said, Dear Morgan McMurray, your mm-hmm. room number is this, yeah. this is the code. Dear Dane Hennon, this is the, your room, this is mm-hmm. the code. Dear Levi Gates, here's your cabin, and this is the code. Yep. So we walk up <clears> to <throat> it, punch in that code, it opens the door, unlocks the door. Wow, green news. Right? So unlock that door and uh, woke up a very startled Paul Holt. Um <laughs> As I opened the door, I said, oh, there's bags in here, and oh, there's people sleeping. We're all standing off to the side. And we only these, sent our most oh. recognizable face and, and voice uh, into Paul the front Paul Grumbly wakes up and goes, uh, hello? <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, fan of the podcast. Oh, boy. Uh, and goes, I said, hey, uh, and I didn't know who it was because the lights were it's off. It was dark. Blank. I didn't you know it was see. Paul. Yeah. And he goes, I go, uh, this is the room they gave me. Uh, punched in the code, and they're like, well, this is our room. We've been in here for a while. Oh, and I'm boy. like, great. Well, that's going to be fun. So <laughs> contact the, the on well, man, well, site manager. Before you get into that. I close I, the door again. What I, what, I need, what I need to do is explain this from my perspective. Yes. <laughs> so you guys have a good idea of what's going on here. It was one of the funniest things. I was ever. right behind <laughs> Levi as he's doing this, right? He answers the code. It does open the door, right? He starts opening it. He says... Oh, it looks like there's somebody in here, right? And at that point, you would probably want to close go, oh, the right, door, gosh, sorry, right? Yeah. right? And just Pull stop what shut. you're doing. You but instead, he looks says, "Oh, it looks like there's somebody in here," and then just opens the door completely. <laughs> Keeps going. And this poor guy, I see him kind of like jolt up and look over his shoulder, scared to death. Keep in mind, this is a scary freaking resort in the middle of yeah. the night. It right. is not. It is not. It's like eleven o'clock. It at is. Night. It it's is scary. It's it in is the scary. Middle of the Bottom woods. of a hill in the woods full of yeah i mean it's so he looks like he has seen a ghost right <laughs> and then i remember levi saying uh what's up bro and i said <laughs> oh no 
that's not good. And so, now, mind you, we had this whole place is rented out by people that are going to be at the G Tech. It's pretty yeah. much exclusively. Yeah. There's people, nobody there yeah. that is not going to be at the event we're at. So, I can only see him get up like through the yeah. crack in the door and the wall. It's just like somebody looking up, really yeah. bewildered. Yeah. Oh boy. And so that, anyways, now you called the people, you called the customer service. Yeah. So I got so closed the door, felt bad. It was like, uh, crap. And this is exactly what I was worried about was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Because it's happened before. Uh, at this place and so I said I was already I was very upset because that was one of the reasons I wanted to get there early so that we could get that handled in before they did the closing but we were assured no you guys are fine we got you taken care of you're good so anyway get a hold of customer service they give us cabin 15 we walk in we see it it's perfect it's a cabin it's a great one (laughs) the reason is the four that are at the lower half of the stair of the road are are completely remodeled yeah, the ones at the upper weren't fully remodeled all the way, so they're well not, taken they're, care they're of. They're well though. taken care of, but they this one had a little bit more of a dated furniture. You we'll you like way. the the lower ones because they're more exciting. With they're more furniture. modern and and Scandinavian feel. <laughs> uh, but either way, we got a great cabin. It smelled delicious. Smelled like a nice cedar. Yeah, mm. uh, flooring smelled good, very nice. Uh, and uh, so, anyway, went to bed. All of us said our good nights, unpacked, went to bed, and then we headed <clears> to <throat> breakfast the next morning at the uh, resort. Yeah, had a delicious breakfast. Uh, then a headed small scoop of eggs. Small scoop of eggs, a some bacon, delicious bacon, pieces of bacon, and mm-hmm. a small scoop of grits. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, made it to the Pris- show. Food for prisoners. Oh, jeez. Okay, Morgan, that was a little better than that, but. Well, the I actually portion, enjoyed it. Well, but. it wasn't bad. It was this. It was, you it was ask enough for, food for a kindergartner. You could have asked for more. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, they didn't make it seem like you could do that yeah, because basically they, they were, were handing it out. They were handing it out, and the trays were mostly empty. So we were. T- I was taking what was left of. Yeah. You know, it's the, just the all I did was walk up and say, "I'd like uh, give you another scoop of them eggs." Okay. It's give designed me scoop of that. for okay, the number of more bacon. Yes, please. Here there. You go, sir. there wasn't enough left for me to ask for that. Oh, um, that's and all my fault. they put pepper in the grits, and I didn't oh like I just that. Put syrup I think on it was my bugs. Grits. No, there was black pepper in the grits. Anyway, <laughs> all right, cranky <laughs> pants. Jeez. Oh, so we it sounds uh, like everybody's <laughs> having a real fun time. So here. that morning yeah. we headed to, anyway. We headed to the G Technic Serum Summit. Made it to the racetrack. First day was a great day. A mm-hmm. uh, lot of people came, visited the booth. We said hello. We talked to lots of folks. Very different than last year because we had. Uh, a different setup. Last year they yeah. had classes going all day long, upstairs and downstairs. This year they did a couple classes upstairs, and then the majority of the classes downstairs in like the garage. In the garages, and stuff. so that would create like kind of a quieter lull time for upstairs, which was a good thing and a bad they were, thing. They were trying to avoid a situation where you had folks at vendors talking with each other while a class is going right. on in the yeah. background, because a lot of the let's just call them students, weren't really enjoying having to hear people talking in the background as they're trying to listen to a teacher. And vice so, versa. There was too much stuff going on, they said, yeah, last, the last year, and people wanted to take, oh, I wanted to listen to so-and-so, but I, you guys yeah. had them stacked so deep. Like, So in this case, they, they split them up, but it was a trade-off because then you had these lulls where it was just very quiet yeah. upstairs. So Ivan LaCroix got to use our van in his booth yep. uh, to polish. Um uh, the hood and play with products and stuff for Lake Country, which was awesome. Um, and then uh, Saturday night we uh, headed to back to the cabin. Uh, Saturday night we had our what we, they call the inst- the vendor dinner at the cabin at the Delonica. Yeah, and uh, that was a great night. We sat with Matt Mormon and had a great dinner. Yeah, we sat yeah. and talked, and then we ordered desserts, and mm-hmm. we each yeah. ordered a dessert. And then Matt proceeded to order four desserts. <laughs> He's like, ah, for himself. I'm just gonna have all of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Anthony fed me a marshmallow that was toasted. It was well. Quite Anthony delicious. actually almost lit the place on fire. It because looked like you were getting fondue. Because until yeah. My, you so my choice was s'mores because yeah. tabletop. I s'mores. was like, oh, that sounds pretty fun. You know, we're out here at a cabin yeah. in the woods. Like, let's do it. Let's do a s'mores party here. This is true. So got I get my s'mores tray. It comes with some marshmallows some graham crackers, some chocolate, and then also one of those, like, whatever those little cans that they yeah, light. Yeah, a little can of Sterno. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some uh, chemicals burning into my marshmallows. <laughs> so, basically, I'm roasting, you know, my marshmallows, and Anthony is bored at this point, and Matt doesn't want, really, the rest of his marshmallows. So, Anthony starts to play with um, fire, 
Never a good idea. <laughs> Which, I mean, if you're, you, everyone knows, if you're sitting there, it takes a little bit to get a marshmallow nice and crispy. Well, you did a great job. And if you Brand don't, new. and if you're not paying attention, it might get a little too low, a and it might did. catch on fire. A of them did. And a couple of them did. Um, and then Anthony's actually became a ball of flames that he was blowing out, and it was only getting bigger. <laughs> Yikes. I, I really liked it. So they gave us a bottle yeah. of wine, too, yeah. for our troubles. I thought the experience was um, really nice. And uh, Anthony was pouring that wine freely amongst yes. all of our crew that uh, was imbibing of that wine. It was yeah. quite nice to see you play kind of waiter, so to speak. You were, you were asking, Garçon. can I refill your glass, sir? <laughs> can I? Yeah. Well, that, was, that was fun. I, I really liked that night because we had a lot of good time at mm-hmm. dinner. And then we all headed back to our cabin, and we brought with us uh, Matt Mormon, Ram Eiler from from Color Lock and Eyer, <laughs> uh, and Marissa uh, Ashley from ExoShield. And yeah. the three of them came with the four of us, and we went back to the cabin, and we ended up doing a podcast, podcast. which you guys can listen to, which turned out to be really fun. Uh, yeah. yeah. So one thing we noticed last year was at the Dahlonega, there wasn't a, like a little shop to buy anything. There wasn't gas stations nearby to grab stuff. So when we went to Walmart, <laughs> we grabbed snacks sodas beer it's a it's a bed and breast, you know. breakfast kind of environment where it's very you're out in the woods there's not stuff close by there's not tvs except in a few places our room had a tv that was internet connected and no internet not a lot of wi-fi going on so basically you make your own fun but you know some people actually go out looking for that so this is that kind of place one of the enjoy f- that for. one of the free um activities they offered was nature walks and there are plenty of opportunities for nature <laughs> so, walks out there. But anyway, we, beautiful, yeah, beautiful but it was lot. great. So we had everybody over. We had some more uh, pop and beer at the house. Yeah. And so uh, we all came over and hung out and just talked. And we hung out and talked till midnight. Yeah. Um, and we, we just basically continued the conversation we were already yeah. having anyway. It was hilarious. Like, I'll just turn on the so mic and let's go. We recorded. So that one is kind of a we just pushed <clears throat> record and let it go. Yeah. No video um, on this one. Just and, Just audio. Then we all went to bed, woke up the next morning, headed back, and on our way out, it started to snow progressively more Saturday little, morning. Little flakes at first. Little flakes at first, and then uh, as we got there, more and more snow. We're like, wow, this is really beautiful, beautiful drive. So it's about a 45-minute drive from the resort to the ra- racetrack through these mountain roads. Um, when we got to Dawsonville, the city right before, it started to get pretty heavy, but it wasn't bad. It was still yeah. probably only about an inch, inch and a half on the It was starting to show on the road, but, but it, was it hadn't sticking. stuck too much yet. It yeah. was sticking, though. We turn a corner, and a car flashes its lights at us, so Dane slows down. Mm-hmm. And uh, Anthony, what happened here? <laughs> That's when, um, uh, coming around this corner, we see this... Uh, the smart car just kind of stuck in the middle of the road. It's a corner on a hill. Yep. And so smart car stuck in the road. It had been spun out a couple of times. And so we pass it and I kind of look over and I see a, a poor girl with her hands on the steering wheel just trembling. And I say, guys, we probably should pull over and help push the smart car out of the road. And so um, we pull over, run over to help her. Uh, first thing we do is we let her know that we're from Idaho and that this is not, this is nothing. This doesn't scare us, <laughs> uh, because we think that that is a big flex amongst, uh, they, well, Georgians. It is because oh, no. you could tell yeah. she was inexperienced in the snow yeah. and mountain driving. Correct. Uh, the tires mm-hmm. to prove it. And so we're like, we're from Idaho. We're from Iowa. Like, let us yeah. get in your car. <laughs> you know, don't be freaked out. <laughs> don't be freaked out. We're and just two so, burly dudes. <laughs> So we run over there. Of course, Dane is filming this whole entire thing, and um, we Why tell would her. Why Dane help when he could film? Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, we could just talk about it, and not yeah. have any video. So Mar- proof that Morgan we did came this. over. So me, <clears throat> Anthony, and Morgan pushed this smart car. Yeah, because she had no tread on her tires, and she was just spinning. It's rural drive. So uh, as we are pushing her, she is just steering. We had to get her off to the side of the road uh, because basically there's no guardrails on anything. It's just a literally a cliff on each yeah, side. Off into the woods. So we finally push her out of the road completely. And Onto it as, with, with a perfect little spot. Yeah. And as we're doing this, a truck comes around the corner, starts slowing down, obviously sees what we're doing, and within a second later, another truck comes around the corner and smashes into the back of that truck, yeah. and we say, holy crap, Let's we're heroes. Oh. We just <laughs> yeah. saved oh, yeah. no. this girl that would <laughs> have been yeah, she pushed off been, into the ravine. Yeah, she would have gotten hit. Yeah. For sure. And if the first car didn't hit her, the second car would have hit her, oh, and yeah. that little car, so tiny, so light... Would have shot off like a pebble, yeah, right off the so, side of the road there. 
feeling like heroes, right? right? I mean, yeah. we were sitting there, and uh, there was obviously two really angry truck drivers, right? Yeah. And yep. I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to go pick a fight with um, some southern truck drivers. That's just not really no, my thing. We're not talking thing. about big trucks. These were just pickup trucks. Pickup trucks. And that's it's an even... F-150 versus a new Nissan Titan. And that's even well, scarier, new, Dane. brand new Yeah, Nissan the F-150 got F-150 rear-ended. behind a an older Nissan Titan. It was the newest yeah. body no, style. No, it was the same body style Josh has. It was newer than that. I saw it was it. newer than it that. Was, I agree with you, Dane. So anyways, there was a pileup. <laughs> there was an accident. Dane is continuously filming this. Yep. And I say, Dane, we've got to blow this popsicle stand. We got to get We did offer her a ride. She was Dodge. Headed. She was yeah. an employee of the uh, Atlanta Motor Sports Park. Yeah. We said, we're going that way. Hop in. We got a minivan. She said, no, it's all right. I'm just going to stay here with my car. Well, she saw two bearded dudes and me, and yeah. she didn't see Morgan, so I think she, well, she did. Morgan her. was pushing the whole time. I don't think she <sighs> saw her. So it was scary, I was and you. I know. We jump in the car, and we start heading our way, and uh, little did we know that we were actually only five seconds away from the park. We were, yeah. we were literally just right around the corner and didn't realize that. So uh, we pulled up into the park. Uh, we talked to the girl at the front of the entrance, and we said, hey, this is crazy. It's snowing. She says, oh, my gosh, I can't believe it. We haven't had snow here in several years. Yeah. And we're like, wow, this is great, right? What an experience. And she says, no, I hate it. I hope it goes away. <laughs> and we said, well, hopefully it doesn't get any worse than this. Yep. And that's what set us up for the rest of the day. Mm. Yeah, uh, about four to six inches landed on the ground. Dane's going to tell you it's 10, but... You know, like we say, four I have to six video inches, evidence. Four to six inches is still a lot. You know, it's a lot it's for anyone. A lot for anyone. Uh, so, but Dane, Dane likes. He, he's pretty sure it was ten inches. Yeah, so, everybody, everybody says it's a little whatever. bit big, larger than what it was. Yeah. So we uh, spent the day in the snow. What they ended up doing was they closed the uh, Atlanta Motorsports Park. Technically, they would not let anybody out. Right. Yeah. Uh, Atlanta Motorsports Park basically stated like, um, nope, the roads are too bad. We're not going to let you leave mm-hmm. uh, because we don't want to be responsible for anything that happens to you. So yeah. if we can keep you here while you're safe and, uh, you know, you're warm, oh, all that stuff. Most of the people there are in cars that are not made for this right. kind of so, environment. The rest of the show goes off a lot lighter and quieter than normal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the people that couldn't make it. On Saturday. Um, and yeah, most of the people were just amazed that it was snowing, so a lot of people were just taking pictures of this. Yeah, they were mostly taking pictures. Like, they were just hanging out, snowball fights, stuff like that. But all in all, a lot of fun. Kind of a weird kind of a, a zombie apocalypse kind of camaraderie. Uh, yeah, well, just seeing food. abandoned cars on the side of the road Well, will do no, that. the food, like, we ran out of food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, lunch was not going to be delivered that day the because catering of the truck snow. crashed. Right. Yeah. And the power was kind of blinking. The power did flicker. Yeah. And I specifically went up to Dane. I said, hey, Dane, so here's the deal right now, man. We've been stuck here. They're not letting anybody come in. They're not letting anybody leave. Um, obviously, it feels like we're stranded, right? We do have a barista over there that's making coffee. Which um, is not great to which, have because everybody was getting jacked up on coffee. Correct. And <laughs> you can tell that tension was rising, right, um, to kind of stunt the hunger there. And I told Dane, I said specifically, I said, hey, power's flickering out, right? We can't leave. We can't go anywhere. We don't really have any food at this point. I won't be worried until the cards get broken out and people start playing card games, right? right yep. So then we walked upstairs. And what did we see? About an hour later, I see a group gathered around a table for a fierce game of Uno. Yep. And I look at Dane and I say, this isn't good. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's and only going point, down from here. At starts. that point, that's when I look at us and I go, let's wrap this up. And so <laughs> we ended up tearing our booth down. It was about two o'clock. As we got our booth all wrapped up and torn down, GTEC started tearing their booth down. And we thought, you know what? It's going to take us maybe two hours to get back to the cabin. Yeah. It's two o'clock now. If we can leave right now, it's going to be four o'clock. And so I always had that in my head. Uh, so we tore everything down. As soon as we finished tearing everything down, food shows up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The road has now been cleared and, and is open. Ivan has decided to leave after lunch. And, well, there uh, was a period in between there where we worked with Eric to uh, contact 121 up a skateboard without you, trucks on you it. Did, you did do a, just a skateboard deck. I put yep. some contact 121 because we thought it'd be fun to go sledding while we yeah. were there. Yeah. Had uh, about five seconds of that. <laughs> um, yeah. So... All in all, just a, it was a fun adventure just to be able to be there to do that kind of yeah. stuff. Uh, food came, we ate, packed up, and then we got in the van and had Jason Rose follow us uh, with Kelly Harris, uh, the two yeah. of them in the Mustang, and they followed us back to the lodge, and it only took us about an extra five minutes. Um, but 
lots of video footage of the cars off the side of the road on the entire drive. Which I'll have really Tim drop it in here. Pretty, pretty yeah. insane. Tim's um, like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, yeah. I guess you just better get that travel vlog out, Dane. <laughs> you got to get it fast. People are, this is timely. You need to bank on that SEO. I feel like this whole so, experience is sounding more negative. I had fun on this trip. You I guys sound too. very down on this Dane, whole thing. I, I had fun. It I was, just hear it, it in your voices. No, it's very, it, uh, was, it, was, it was fun because of all the cool stuff that we got to do. For me, I like it when crap goes wrong. Because I don't. Because then it it's amusing out. and it's fun yeah. and I thrive in chaos. Yeah. <laughs> I... I love when things go wrong, right? I think it's <laughs> I think people. it's I think it's hilarious. I feel bad, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, make the most of the situation. Well, and I I'm pretty optimistic about that kind of stuff. Yeah. I think the only reason why I sound down is because we've spent the last 50, 60 hours with each other yes. yeah. consistently. I think we all need a um, little some time off, break. <laughs> some time away <laughs> yeah. to go do our own things because we've we've told this story probably three times in the last at least yeah I don't know and it, five hours in and fairness, it's starting to wear on we're, us. We're like it feels like we're speeding through this story, knowing all like the little funny details and stuff in it would be much much longer. But we have told it so many times at this point, we're kind of getting through the the big beats. And you'll see it in the travel vlog yeah. here in the next we'll eight months the, um, or you'll, ten or ten. You'll see it in October. <clears throat> you'll see it right. next year, yeah. and you'll see kind of what we went through and what we what we enjoyed. But just in time, um, to see well, the thing was is once we left, once we left there and we were back on the road, um, you know, we kind of started like thinking about okay, you know what, this year we probably didn't make the amount of connections and meet the right. amount of people that maybe we would have liked to have, um, but the people that we did talk to. Um, it was cool to educate people, and then people that we uh, that came to the booth, a lot of them were actually already part of the business program, so it was a lot of just kind of educating further on towels and the Woe's line, people coming up to the Woe's line and smelling it for the first time. A lot of people and, that wanted to s- maybe yeah, wanted to smell or see or look at it. Wanted to get their hands on it, yeah. and uh, it was also a good a good test of how good we were at setting up a mobile booth unit kind of on the fly and being able to tear it down. Yeah. You know, we, were, we, had, we had the booth up in... 45 minutes we had it Without down the help of Dane. we had it down in 25 minutes with yeah. the help of Dane with the help of Dane correct uh, with the help of Dane 25 yeah when Dane <laughs> helps it knocks another 20 minutes off yeah. it's fantastic so it was um, it that was a good experience we went back to the hotel um, pretty early yeah it was like 3 3 or 4 by the time we got there and it was yeah. nice because we didn't have the party till 8 o'clock yeah and nice so we got some gap. got got a nice downtime where we were able to relax. Anthony laid down on his bed, I laid down on mine, I covered myself with a blanket and uh tried to warm up cuz I was freezing. Um, yeah. But it was great. We just hung out, chilled out and uh literally and yeah. then uh then I like to tell this next part Go of the story, it. right? So Go we had already it. planned out that this night going to this winery, right? Um this uh this G Technic dinner, right? Yeah, the we, uh, final like we wanted to show up and slay right we wanted to show up and make an entrance (laughs) legitimately so we coordinated this amongst (laughs) ourselves four of us stuff we all coordinated we said hey it's dicks and flannels tonight and we're doing this morgan brought her dicks and flannel the dark horse as she loves that Uh, dane wore the hank right a modest but very good looking flannel felt in that thing he does it's very trimming right yep and then I chose to wear the two two three, yep. um, like a greener look color. Really great on you. And then you cho- you chose to wear the starboard, which is a blue with blue, a little, with a little red bit of red pinstriping. A little bit of red pinstriping. So we all got dressed up, right? We walk in there. The door flies open. All the heads. Legitimately, everybody in the building turns to look at us turns as the to four us. of us walk in. Rock and flannels, and they see. They say, "What in the heck? Who are oh, those?" Yeah. It's like they're, oh. "Oh my god, it's it like the rag audible, company." There was like an audible <laughs> gasp. Like, yeah, <gasps> there was like a breath that had been taken, and we they're had like, seen oh amongst gosh. the crowd a couple other dicks and flannel wearers. Rob from <clears throat> MTM Hydro Velocity. Yep. Mm-hmm. He was rocking the uh, Crystal Lake, and then uh, Joe Wetzel wearing also the Dark Horse, right? Yep. Um, Match and Morgan. Match and Morgan. Yep. And they look over, and it's like they saw some long lost friends. They're brothers in arms, mm-hmm. sisters in arms, mm-hmm. and uh, flock to us saying. You guys did it. Like you guys made the entrance that you wanted to make, and <laughs> it was a beautiful moment. Probably one of the greatest times of my life, second to uh, probably your probably kids being born. Than I was my say, kids uh, being born. Yeah, but Eric came up to us, gave us a couple drink tickets, which was fantastic. We got some drinks, and then we were ready to line up for the delicious food, yeah. which included a smoked barbecue chicken, uh, barbecue baked beans, macaroni, mm-hmm. delicious macaroni. Um, and then obviously chips. Um, chips, right? Your choice of, uh, of a fine grade chips, a, a, a step above kettle the traditional cooked. lays. Yes, kettle cooked lays. Um, but 
It was great because it was actually about a third of the size it was last year, meaning yeah. that you could have a conversation with people. Yeah. You didn't feel claustrophobic. Last um, year we couldn't put you couldn't walk you through couldn't the place walk through. to get to the bathroom. The bathroom was always packed. The you couldn't it was so tight. There were so many people. Yeah. This so year it was because nice. of the weather, it kind of caused people to say like, eh, "I don't really want to drive the extra time to get there." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, and that helped cuz last year we didn't get food. Yeah. There was no food by the time we got to in line and eat. So this was nice. We got to eat as much as we wanted and uh, drink as much as you wanted. Yeah. So uh, definitely. Right. And so uh, great conversations that night. Um, talked about a lot of different Dixon Flannel uh, collaboration possibilities. Yeah. Talked um, about where to buy Dixon Flannels. Talked about where to buy them. You, uh, you lots would, of different companies. You would were think asking. that we were working for the company. You think. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, we aren't. We're actually not getting any commission. It's like we were <laughs> there for Dixon. <coughs> yeah. yeah not instead for the of the rat company. company yeah. <laughs> but uh, good times. Uh, we enjoyed that night. Uh, pretty much wrapped it Our, up. Juan Gonzalez got the Mr. G Technic Award. Yeah. Nice. Which is From very Idaho deserving. Falls. Wow. Yeah. Very deserving. Yeah. We yeah, were very, very excited nice for him. Uh, they said Senor G Technic. I love that. Senor G Technic. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> so uh, we left there, went back to the cabin. And um, a great drive there. It felt very safe driving home from there. I agree. Um, yeah. Was well, that, nice. that was because so so um, because uh, many of the TRC team members wanted to imbibe some alcohol. Right. And as we all know, I don't drink. Yeah. Uh, and the roads were very icy, very yeah. slick at this time. And not only was it Rag mm-hmm. Company that we were in charge of bringing home. Yes. But also Matt Mormon of Obsessed Garage, who also yeah. doesn't drink. Yeah. And then uh, Marissa from ExoShield, mm-hmm. who yeah. uh, did, was not going to get said from the start, um, who's going to drive us home if we're all drinking? Mm-hmm. And I said, well, I'm, I'm going to be sober and Matt will be sober, but Dane's going to be driving us. No. And she goes, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> and we and also, you we guys agree. are saying that like a, what? I'm just, we ad- okay, just, audience, but I swear to God, nothing. I wouldn't. <laughs> Jesus, nothing, guys. There's nothing we can what do. F- yeah. I no. wouldn't do that to no, people. I know. You would we never were, do that. And so that's, that's why, why, we said, that's why Dane, Dane said, said then Dane goes, Levi, you know you're driving home. Yep. Dane said, you know what, Levi? I feel like I should have some have a few drinks tonight. And I heard egging me on to Dane try and get a reaction out of me. <laughs> we did. A bunch of a-holes around yeah, here. Dane picked up a couple <clears throat> more beers. You know, so people we handed, kept I giving handed him Dane those tickets. A, a drink ticket. I said, here you go, brother. And he handed me the keys. That's yeah. Right. Nice and I trade-off. drove us home safely that yeah. last uh, mile it was, back. Yeah, it was a roughly four minute drive, but yeah. we got there it safely. It is the shortest <laughs> drive between was, any two it places. It literally was like parking lot to parking lot. It was literally four minutes. So, uh, it was not a big deal. Anyways, we could have walked home if we, <laughs> we needed to. We could have to. walked home and made it just fine. Um, but might we, have froze uh, to death on the maybe, way down. Yeah. <laughs> but we made it back. Could have been fun. And um, got back to our rooms. Uh, got a good night's sleep, or at least we tried to get a good night's sleep. It was sleep like 10.30. We headed yeah. back, or 10 o'clock, and we got back. We were all in bed by 10.30 or so. And we so. had to be up in about six hours or so Yep. Um, because we had to get up uh, early to get ready for our uh, our next little voyage. So um, we got up, got dressed, and we were on our way to Atlanta. And before we actually went to Atlanta, we were invited to come to um, a cool little um, a featurette, uh, yeah. as some would say. It was um, like the, the the final event of the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, which was uh, not only Matt Mormon getting his SV, his skills validated wow. um, for the IDA, also known as the International Detailing Association. What a car to do that but on. But also a awesome experience with Justin Pate of the Rap Institute yep. where he was going to be teaching some rap basics um, to rappers was, of Atlanta. And he was doing a... Uh, uh, rappers with yep. a W instead of an R. Yep. Mm. Yeah. But, so, so we were able to get there. We spent a couple hours, uh, about an hour. It was all we had time for. Um, so we got to spend time walking around looking at this amazing collection oh, yeah. of fine yeah. automobiles. Uh, apparently, so fun fact, didn't know this, but... Uh, Carrera GTs are not rare. Not at, at all. all. There was like four in the building. There was like four in that building. I like, feel that like was, this whole podcast that was is the just crazy, designed to give me anxiety. That was the craziest thing was that like Dane always Dane always the tells us. The rest of the time that we're outside of here. Dane's what? like, you guys, that is the most rare car I've ever, like you don't understand. That's only not true either though. And we walk in and there's four. Yeah. So I mean, you know yeah, what there I, was four minivans in the parking lot too. Yeah. You know what I didn't see in there? I didn't see any 1999 Honda Civics, right? I didn't see any 2006 Elantras. You know what else I didn't see? I didn't see any 2006 Monteros. I didn't see any Volvo V50 our designs yeah i've been so a quiet true, this whole podcast letting you all talk and it's giving me anxiety <laughs> so basically Good it Lord. was it was a little different but however i did see a lot ferrari in there i did see a mclaren p1 for the first time in person there was a zagato there there was uh, i don't think we're supposed to talk about that one. Oh. they don't know what kind of zagato dane there's many zagatos 
mean, there really? was a car I was told specifically it was about and five, I nerded it was out about over five it, million and they said was. Dane this is the no fly zone this is the only yeah. one you can't show but, and I know how but these things Dane, go oh, we're not showing it you don't know you, they don't know what year it is they don't know how if it's an is old one Zagato or mean new one? like the cat no Zagato There's is a, a coach work a coach builder they do custom work on cars typically asked them they're like a hot rod builder well. Gato means cat right <clears throat> yes. yes so Z like the gato no. the cat no, Zagato but this this is a mm. this is a very classic mark that goes Dane's back they're gonna come many after decades mm. there's a lot of things where I'm just like mm, but so yeah. anyway there was La Ferraris Zagato. Uh, GT3 RS, GT3 RS, GT2s, GT2s. There was, was uh, Land Cruisers. There was that Land Cruiser uh, was cool. A couple man. Singer Porsches. Again, several apparently four, five, Dane has yeah. told us so many times Singer Porsches are very rare. Two in that building. Two in that building. Yeah, right. right next to each other too. So Dane, you've seen how many Singer Porsches this year? Mm, this year? Oh, yeah. just those ones. I haven't seen any others this year. Well, no, ni- last year I saw a lot. Yeah. So yeah. again, you see them everywhere. Oh, but I also went to events that very, very few people ever yeah, get car to go shows. to. So it goes to car shows. Yeah. yeah, you know the quail. Just anybody can get into the quail, right? <laughs> no, the Boise okay. Cars and Coffee. Boise the Cars same, and Coffee. Yeah. Same, same thing. Yeah, you're not finding a singer there. <laughs> so it was well, really cool seeing all these cars. Found out that Matt was taking his SV there. The whole, yeah. It was going to be another G Technic <clears throat> event there, along with Justin Pate of the Rap Institute. So it was going to be kind of a collab. We were bummed event. we didn't get to see Justin. Yeah, he was bummed just too because he was him. he was literally landing. When we were leaving, and we were passing each other on the freeway. <laughs> yeah. So. So now I will say, for the record, because I got to stand up for myself here, since apparently no one else wants to. When we, we arrived at the wonderful collection, Matt Mormon stepped out and said, "Thank you so much, Dane. I'd ride with you anywhere." He, did he literally say that. did say that. He did Matt, say that. Matt literally did he say goes, that. You're smooth. You're calculating. You'd be a great driver. I said, yeah. "Thank you." Then yeah. we said, "Dane used to drive for Uber and Lyft on the weekends. This is where he got his, tra- <laughs> his skills training." Uh, yeah. Uh, so mm-hmm. he is a great chauffeur. Matt also it. said that me and him. Uh, would have been best friends, <laughs> right? If it wasn't for my, he found out about your package. battery life. Uh, yeah, he issues. found out that I live my life a, 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 a quarter, charge, quarter, quarter charge, quarter charge, quarter charge, at quarter charge at a time, or ten percent at a time, whatever, it, whatever it is. <laughs> so I don't really charge my Couldn't phone get down with a whole that. lot. And he said he just didn't understand my thought process behind it because he always like wants to know the thought process. Mm-hmm. And I say that Matt, I live for speed and comfort, right? I can't be fast charging a phone, right? And I can't be comfortable charging a phone. I'm not holding a charging brick in my pocket. Right. I've done that before and it looks <laughs> weird. So what I want to do is basically live my life a quarter charge at a time, 10% at a time, and go from charging to charging if I if needed. But it doesn't stress me out if I don't have a phone because I'm surrounded by other phones. And he, says, he didn't, he didn't until un- he isn't. He didn't understand that. He didn't really get it. He I said that. Really anyone does. He said it, we, it wasn't going to work out. Me and him weren't going to be best yeah. friends. And, no. That was a sad um, moment. I remember hearing yeah. that. And he also was like, hey, well, you're also the kind of guy that doesn't fill up his gas often. And I said, well, that's also true because I drive a 99 Honda <sighs> Civic. And sometimes when I park on an incline, my car pump. doesn't start, right? Yeah. right? So I kick my e-brake off and I roll backwards until it does level. start. should have seen Matt's face when he told him that. And, that I'm, was... <laughs> and I'm good to go for another day or two, right? Oh. And so it's a couple of my quirks that I have, my features that I have as just a person. <laughs> Part of, yeah. And so that didn't work out. But I will say, though, that we did talk about a lot of Honda stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And here in the near future, yeah, you guys broke down on a lot of Honda once stuff. we uh, once we allocate his 1999 or 2000 Honda Civic, right? Um, me and Dane will be going out to yeah. film with him. Whenever it happens, we will get plaintiffs. We will fly down and be yeah. some yep. part of that. I agree. I love that idea. We have, a whole, we have a whole idea in mind, and it's actually going to be pretty awesome. So um, we said our goodbyes there at the uh, at the car, uh, the car collection, uh, went, made our way to the airport, dropped off the rental car. No issues whatsoever, no. right? Um, a lot of smooth it. driving by Dane. Yep. And then that's when we were ready to go. Yeah, we made it through checkout or, or – uh, you know, we checked our bags. We got through security. For once, I didn't get stopped. Dane get, 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 didn't get stopped. Really Usually, amazing. wonderful time this for guy him. Gets it, but. Uh, I was able to use my clear and was able to bypass all of that stuff. Yeah, you blazed a trail uh, right up, and then yeah. waited yeah. for about fifteen minutes for you guys to get through um, with your lowly pre-check. Um, wow! And then yeah. I, uh, yeah. I yeah. headed over. We all headed over, got up to our gate, and we had about twenty minutes mm-hmm. uh, before we had to. And we still uh, hadn't eaten because so, yep, so we, the hotel didn't yep, like us we that day. Yep, <laughs> they were gonna wait for breakfast, so we grabbed some uh, nice McDonald's breakfast sandwiches yeah. for all of us. Yeah, uh, Dane, and what did you have? 
Uh, have myself a bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle, followed by a quarter pounder. Ooh, Delicious. Oh, good choice <laughs> yeah. for uh, nine. <laughs> I'll never forget. Because <laughs> I or, asked for a McChicken, and they said, we don't do that at the airport. So, I said, oh, so I looked at the next thing on the menu and just went, uh, that, I guess. Yeah. And so I look over at Dane after I saw him eat the McGriddle, and then I saw him break out the quarter pounder. And I said, Dane, is that a double quarter pounder or a single? He's like, oh, it's just a single. I didn't want to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> As I saw him already eat two sandwiches, I'm like, "No, you're not a you're not a monster by any means, right? You're you want to I don't want to go crazy. Watch the diet, you know. Um, so yeah, that part comes now. That was funny. Oh, we did we did laugh about that quite a bit. Um, but yeah. then we jumped on the plane. We all had comfortable seats because we were in the exit row mm-hmm. um, for the whole, basically the longest flight, which was five almost was five good. hours. It was good. A lot Atlanta of room. Atlanta to room. Seattle, so yeah. diagonal across the whole country. Transcontinental so, flight, as they call mm, it. Yeah. Um, got a variety of snacks. Watched some more movies, uh, which was good. Um, I did start trying to watch um, the uh, the movie The Art of Racing in the Rain, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> I got through about 15 minutes and I started tearing up on the flight because I oh. missed my dogs. Oh. And I had to turn off the movie. Oh. And instead, you were cry so much. instead, I started watching uh, what's that movie with Charlize Theron? And uh, you, you yeah. watched uh, yeah, it's a yeah, long, 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 shot. long Shot. Great well, movie. That, I knew the humor in that movie funny. would click yeah. for you. Which was Beautiful actually movie. a good watched movie. Watched it two weeks ago, loved it. Cheered but me up. Art of Racing in the Rain. If you like medium shots of golden retrievers making reactions to things going on in a room that was probably shot later, that's the movie for for you. That's what I gathered from watching. Absolutely, over his Dane. Yeah. Absolutely. And I don't <laughs> Just care. a whole lot of golden retrievers looking going, her. <laughs> yeah. And that's totally fine, Dane. They're beautiful dogs. Technically, they're the fourth smartest dog in existence. Mm-hmm. I used um, to have one. It was a wonderful dog. So, uh, anyway, but we got made it back. Um, we, we were worried that we weren't going to make our connecting flight in Seattle. Right. Thankfully, we were able to make that. Which we uh, barely did, and yeah. only because they were so nice and said, hey, we got some people with tight yep. connecting flights here. If you could please let them off first. Yep. Morgan, so little, Morgan talked to the... Little did they know that we were just right in front of the door. Well, we didn't know so that we, we just, were going to be going through the middle door either. We thought, you know, they're yeah. going to open the front door because that's what normally happens, yeah. but it was a Never big enough plane that they opened the middle sat in an exit one. row where you literally had that that large gap. Like, it, it's a good that was four a, feet That was where I got to sit on my open. flight to Orlando and back. Well, that's a Dylan von Kleist kind of spot. It's a 757 I think is what they said. It yeah. worked a, a long, a long, long version of like yeah. the 757. It was nice days. because uh, that's where where the stewardesses sat, you know, mm-hmm. right there across from you guys. Mm-hmm. So uh, we made eye contact. You got to make yeah, eye contact. They just the stare. Time. It's just a reverse. But that's how, like, I guess that's I how have to Josh talk to and you. John started yeah. flirting with the with the stewardess. And, oh. was a, and we're able to procure many bottles of whiskey from them. Oh, wow. dear. Ah. The well, that's pretty cool. Nice work. Mm. So. Good for them. And yeah. then we also saw a man go into the bathroom. The airplane lavatory right lots of people going in and out of the bathroom of sure. course mm-hmm. it's not weird and then all of a sudden a man shows up waiting outside the bathroom just standing right in front of us well he took his shoes off yes he did he took his shoes off mm. walking around the airplane with out putting i did see shoes that back on there was a That's man just with like his a, shoes there's off. a social contract when you're going to plane. use the bathroom in the <laughs> plane in some countries that's a respect thing honestly uh, i don't know if this you've ever been to right? japan but you actually take off your shoes before going uh, mm-hmm. into somebody's home and mm-hmm. that lavatory could have been somebody's home Gross. right yeah, so but he did this the is man, an airplane you're trapped the with man did air. go into the bathroom um and then come out and still did not have any shoes on. So he was probably like, "Gross, my socks are wet now." That some, pe- is, some people that's can't go really without gross. with shoes on, right? So it's just I'm one of those ne- things. actually never, I've heard, never of heard of that. that. <laughs> and yeah, if so, strange. there's a lot of things that you gotta just suck up when you're yeah. on an airplane, and that I think is one. <laughs> so sorry to him for what he had to go through, probably because the thing <clears> is, <throat> he had to take those shoes. And put them on after, right? Mm-hmm. To walk oh. around the rest of the airport. So now those shoes are pretty much contaminated. Yeah, that was gross. It was well, weird. How so, about his neighbor? How do you think his neighbor I in the seat next to him must I, have felt? Thankfully, know. we made it all back safe and sound, yeah, so and we're back here in the uh, Rag Company HQ. Yeah. Can Hang you tell we're tired? We're tired. So uh, <laughs> we're going to take tomorrow off. Yep. Yeah. So we can have uh, some downtime. Um, and then uh, we got a busy, busy week planned. Uh, yeah. We got to get some seats. We got to do a junkyard trip, get some seats for the color lock training. We got to pull those. Uh, for those of you that uh, are interested in the color lock training that is happening here, it's February 20th and 21st. The c- cost of the class is $500. 
It is a two-day training course that is being put on by Colorlock. Extensive Ram and Lars. training. Extensive this leather is training. For real, for real. If you've been wanting to add that to your detail shop or your repertoire, uh, I recommend it. This is yeah. also, like, if you look at some of the folks that do this, like uh, Justina Briss in uh, Belgium uses the Colorlock system. She works not only on upholstery, but she also repairs leather jackets and purses. leather purses. Yeah. So high-end yeah. purses. you got to think that... Uh, you know, some of those purses are three to five thousand to ten thousand dollars, and there are people who buy them that want to keep them and use them forever, forever, or they're going to sell them. They're using it to mm-hmm. as an investment because mm-hmm. uh, these the value of these things do go up. So, um, if you're wondering about the training, this is something that that you can utilize as well for maybe a different niche market. Yeah. Um, uh, with leather repair, and it's a really great service to be able to add on. Uh, yeah. for customers. So yep. yeah. uh, you can find all that info if you go to Rag Company events uh, on our Facebook page. And there is a link that says tickets. Click that ticket button and uh, just follow the directions and uh, it'll take you there. You pay for it online. Uh, that is available only to 10 folks Yeah, um, is all we have room for. But uh, again, come check it out and please Come see us. Come hang out with us. It's yeah. going to be a fun event. We're going to have a good time. Yeah. It's very hands-on. That's yeah. the whole idea is it gives you time to really focus and get in there. You, you've got the assistance from really, really And be in a smaller course uh, or a small class uh, like that, you'll get the time that you need to really focus and hone your yeah. skills. So I recommend everybody sign up that can. Uh, <clears throat> please, again, go just Rag Company events. Right. It's really going to be something so, else. Now, it's going to be cool. I'm, exci- I'm excited about it because it's something that I always wanted to do. Uh, as a detailer, I thought yeah. that would be a neat, neat setup to be able to re- actually repair leather seats, not Dane's Montero seats, but <laughs> like the Those suburban, the suburban's gone. got a small little tear in the driver's seat and, yeah. uh, they're starting to get some cracking, uh, just old cracking. So something that I would like to be able to revive. We did Morgan's passenger side. She was able to repair that on her, on her own little yeah. refresh. Yeah. Yeah. to it and uh, it looks great so yeah. now i'm sure people have been looking down at the table wondering what these are and that's what i'm going to jump into yes here. so um these right here are a dual purpose sticker right mm. they can be used to give to your love of your life right uh they can also be used in a funeral scenario <laughs> and so <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding we joke around with our uh, with, with nate <clears throat> next to nate is who created this and we said that this is kind of a cool sticker uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but basically there's roses on it uh, with a couple cool Valentine's Day quirks inside there. Uh, we all kind of have our, our, our own. Yeah, the O is a heart. Our, yeah, yeah, the O is a heart. It's, it's just kind of a really cool sticker. And so, uh, you know, we do limited edition stickers every once in a while. And usually yep. when it becomes a, for a sale or some type of big event, uh, Valentine's Day is something we're doing a sticker for. We're also going to be doing a sticker for St. Patty's Day. Yep. Mm. So here in the next two months, you'll have two different opportunities to pick up some limited uh, edition TRC stickers for your water bottle, your toolbox, your rear quarter window, uh, your firstborn child, whatever you want to put mm-hmm. these on, we My know that you'll love it. My child loves these. Yeah. Mm. So uh, what we're doing, though, uh, and, and, and a way to get these stickers is by checking out the Valentine's Day sale um, that is going to be launching tomorrow, which is going to be Tuesday, um, which will be February 11th. Now, or sorry, February, I think February 11th, correct? Yeah. Today's the 10th. Yeah, so 11th. <laughs> and how this sale works, right? It's very unique. It's something that the rag company has never, ever done. This is our first time ever running a buy one, get one. Yep. Meaning you buy one towel, you get a second towel of that same towel for free. For free That's right? huge. And so uh, it is huge because basically this is 50% off some of your favorite <clears throat> towels. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and so just a couple off the top of my head that we're doing, um, one of my favorites, the Eagle 500 mm. in red. We're doing a buy one, get one on that. Yep. So which means you're taking the cost of that Eagle and you're cutting it in half. Mm-hmm. Yep. We've never done that before. We've never done a 50% off technically because that's what that pretty much adds up to. And no, we did not jack up the prices to be able to run a sale like this. We were just They're truly giving are. you guys a buy one, <clears throat> get one on some... Um, on some very specific towels. And so you'll be able to see the full lineup of everything that we're going to be offering um, tomorrow. But I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a sneak peek of what you would get. Well, by the time they listen to this, it'll be almost tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be almost tomorrow. And so a buy one, get one. Like I said, we've never done it before. This is kind of our test bed to see if this is a sale that we would want to run in the future. Um, So make sure to jump on the website, pick up a bunch of stuff. We do free shipping over 59 bucks. Um, This is a great time to pick up glass towels. Uh, We have some other ultra plush towels in there. Um, And then we have some traditional 
traditional terry towels. We have a good variety of everything, um, as well as some other little trinkets and things like that that are yeah. going to be on sale. So um, head to the website, How pick them up. How do they get the stickers? So they get the stickers, right? Uh, we're going to be running the stickers, I believe, on just Valentine's Day, right? Okay. So if you don't care about the sticker, jump straight in, place your order, right? But on Valentine's Day, February 14th, uh, we will be throwing these stickers in on orders. So uh, if you're a big sticker person, wait till the 14th, jump on the sale. If you don't care about stickers and you just want the goods, um, because this is all um, while supplies last, kind right. of stock, yep. right? And so Once they're um, gone, they're gone. If you have somebody that jumps in there and says, well, I want 20 eagles because I want 20 eagles free. Well, I want 20 eagles because I want 20 eagles free, right? Eventually, we will cut the stock on some of these well, things because yeah. we, we just have to. Um, so um, if you don't care about the stickers, jump in. If you want the stickers, wait it out and see what's still available for the buy one, get one. But uh, we're super excited. We think a bunch of people are going to uh, stock up and go crazy with it. Um, I think Dane says he needs to stock up as well because um, he's looking at, obviously, several new cars that he wants to get as well. Oh, you know. boy. Yeah. Well, I got the racetrack. He saw a lot of great stuff, that Lancia Integrale that he really wanted yeah, I was all get. about that Delta, yes. Yeah. And uh, when, <laughs> when I jumped on the, uh, the Facebook marketplace in Georgia, you would be surprised what you'd be able to find in there. It yeah. is uh, pretty crazy. So a lot of great stuff tucked away in those hills. A lot of great, a lot of great stuff. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I will say, with these stickers, this may be the only time we ever offer these. So if you want them, you got to get them. Yeah, honestly, because we, we probably will change up the design for next Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah. Um, this is a one-shot, so. so. This is a one-shot, so we only made it, we only made enough of them for just that day. So uh, jump on them. I am, I'm looking forward, because I love, I love St. Patty's Day. Mm, me too. Um, Very so, excited about uh, it. You know, because I am a little bit of Irish. I don't know yeah. about yourself. I'm 30% Irish. You, you are. Are. Wow, I am a lot less than that, but I still have some in me <laughs> as well third as some of, Scottish. A third of me is Irish. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Scotch Irish over here mixed with Norwegian, so I'm right. There I can't with wait you. to see what mm -hmm. Dane's 23 and me is when he finds out that he's actually. I know. I'm going to find out. I'm Portuguese. Portuguese. Maybe I'll no. find out that you know, 87 percent Portuguese. You you thought you were Mexican, but then it'll find out that I am. Or Whoa, something. that would like, be, be yeah, a, that'd be amazing. Oh, what a if twist! You were like right, more Mexican than me. Yeah, would I would literally love that. That would be. Awesome. I would. That fun. would make my life. And yeah. so, what did you find out? Your whole percentage was. I'm I'm actually almost fifty percent Portuguese. I'm forty eight percent, which is pretty crazy. What's the rest? Um, <clears throat> it's a uh, Syrian, right? Yep. Which, okay. So it's kind of an odd one as well. It's cool. Huh? Um, and then English, and then uh, then there was some Irish in there. Um, I think there's only like I'm I'm not that much of a mixed pot. I'm actually it's pretty much just yeah. Portuguese, and so. Uh, I was pretty pumped on that because I thought my life was a lie when my dad told me that he was full blooded and he and, was full blooded. And well, when people, <laughs> well, and people in Europe, they're like, "Oh, I'm full blooded," you know. I'm like, "Yeah, you don't really know He's that." Like, no, I haven't left the Faroe you, Island. Like my <laughs> ancestors have not left the Faroe. The, <laughs> Just because you have it doesn't mean Dude, you know yeah, for sure the, if you're not the Faroes, <laughs> the Azores Islands. <laughs> well, that's well, that was kind of the funny part is that like he's like, "Oh yeah, we're from the Azores. You know, we're like purebreds over here." I'm like, "Yeah, I don't really know about that, right?" And then uh, my my thing showed like going back to like the 1600s hundreds or something like that i'm like holy crap it's pretty i solid. guess they have been there for a while whatever <laughs> yeah. man anyway that's fun morgan yeah. do you have anything to add to this conversation no nope, not she's, she's, she's glad to be back all right yeah i think we're all just glad to be back sleeping in our own homes seeing our pets and our significant yeah. others again and uh by the way remember these these stickers we're not kidding like this may be the only time you can ever get this particular you only one have four, so. so if you're a collector if you're <laughs> an aficionado you don't have four this Thank is you, it Morgan. Oh. <laughs> we have 14 <clears throat> more than so. that so oh just Boring. be on the lookout. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you are to both the Rag Company YouTube channel as well as the Rag Company podcast YouTube channel. And you can always look forward to seeing us live on Thursdays for the Thursday Q&A. Uh, and that'll be at and its usual time. keep signing up for that Master of Shine. Smash that subscription yes. button on YouTube. We need to get so that, him uh, to 1,000. So you guys can see the Master of Shine at home live. And uh, available. We got to get okay. him to a thousand because it'll let him do live. Before that, it won't let him do live. And thank you to Levi all that have can't signed up. Video, I appreciate so, it. Yeah, yeah we got to work that out. Anyway, guys, once again, this is us saying adios. See ya. See ya. See ya.